guys, Don Y61, and today we are in the King George, and we will be bringing forth a truly heroic effort. Now, if you don't get the little joke there, of course, there is the heroic effort section of the uh, missions tab right now, and it has such things as get 23 fires in a game, or do 210,000 damage, or get a Kraken, or in one battle, get uh, 32,000 or 3,250 base XP. Will we be doing those in this game? Yes. Which ones? I don't want to spoil the surprise, but we will be doing two of them in this game. And we near, we miss out on nearly doing all of them this game. So it's, it's quite the banger of the game. Of course, the ship we are doing it in is the King George right here. We, of course, are running Azure Lane Nelson for that beautiful, beautiful HE and fire chance uh, and the good heals and the dispersion and just the the wonderfulness that that commander is. We start off the game, we get to we get a fire and we get set on fire twice by the enemy King George. Yep, it's going to be one of those. At this point, we realize, ooh, we probably won't be able to nestle on into B and get us some extra points. It's time to turn on out. North Carolina is still burning. He's letting it burn. We might as well continue to fire at him. We take a couple of hits from both Leon and the other King George. North Carolina sailing away saying, we don't want none of this, but uh, we're going to keep giving it to him. Shots are out on him. They land. He set, That sets us another fire, and we get a 14,000K salvo out of that, uh, and he just now puts it out, bringing us up to 27,000 damage for the game so far. Waiting on the guns to uh, run. Now, the way I like to play King George is kind of fighting in reverse. Go out and then turn the ship around and use these angles to kind of flee. Of course, when ships are heading away from you, it does tend to be a little bit harder. We do go ahead, keep on picking on that North Carolina, especially now, because if we can get another fire and we get two of them there, those are going to be two perma fires for him that he will not be able to put out until he gets his repair party recovered. And of course, he did burn it because, well... We saw him ex extinguish the other two fires that we have previously gifted him. Uh, up to four fires already. Shots out on the California. And we're just going to keep rinse and repeating every 20-odd seconds. We're going to keep on trying to set these fires. Do the damage because if we can go ahead and get people to burn the damage con, we can absolutely get some massive damage numbers. And California is having none of it. He decides, let's go ahead and put out that... Uh, let's go ahead and put out the fire. And that means we're going to go ahead return the favor to him, and try to set him a light one more time. North Carolina in the background, still burning. We're up to 50,000 damage already, and uh, I'm sure he's none too pleased with that. Callie, we only get one shell, and sadly, nothing hits. This is the one kind of downside to going for uh, the HE kind of play with battleships, specifically like King George. If you miss, most of your damage uh, is all based on if you can go ahead and get another fire immediately in the next salvo after they extinguish if you're not able to then it does end up hurting you uh just because you you are basically cutting the amount of time of of your ability to do that damage over time fire in nearly half uh so it is very important when you do things like this to go ahead and make sure you pick your shots and make sure you're accurate uh because as we saw right there sadly uh we're missing a golden opportunity to go ahead and uh hit some fires on that California. Now you may be setting, saying, why aren't you using AP? Um, truth be told, AP I don't find to be too successful with the King George, mainly because it does only have 14 inch guns, which means you need something with relatively thin armor uh, going broadside in order to be majorly effective. And you can absolutely kind of just get away with HE. Um, in this case, we are going to flip on over to our AP because we have this Ranger spotted. And uh, if there's one thing that has thin armor, it's going to be those aircraft carriers. We go ahead, line up, wait for the turrets to turn. One other thing that I do find kind of interesting on the uh, on, on the King George is its turret uh, layout. The front gun, like, ooh, that was a good, that was a good salvo too. We're up to 89,000 damage. Uh the, like, off your bow, you have six guns, and usually you would think of that as, like, two sets of three, but in fact, it's a four set and a two set uh, in the turrets, which is just sort of awkward, and I appreciate, but it was just also something I found interesting. 
Uh, we get another Citadel on the Ranger there. He's down. We're up to nearly 100,000 damage. Uh, sadly, C is already taken, so we can't just chill here to earn ourselves some extra XP. California is up next, and we are switching back over to HE. We've seen that he is someone that will put out one fire. So if we can go ahead and get him to trigger a... Uh, we can get a fire on him and then get another perma fire on him. Actually, he's already on fire right now. If we can go ahead and get some fires on him, it's going to be good. And we saw right there, he went ahead and extinguished him. That means we switched right on back to the HE because we're like, oh, he's already got two fires. It's kind of difficult to set those other two fires, especially when we are kind of aiming for that, that central uh, superstructure. That's where it's easiest for us to go ahead and hit our shells. But uh, now that he just put it out, it's opened up our ability to go ahead and set a permafire on him. So we just need to get these shells on target. And that's exactly what we're going to try to do right here. Shots out. And let's hope for a permanent fire on this. Yep, we get one permanent fire there. Beautiful. And we're up to 108,000 damage. One thing we haven't talked about uh, so far in this match, but is going to start to become important, is map control. As you can see, our team kind of flooded the seaside and our, uh, our, our, the rest of our team kind of went to A and they just got taken out there. So it is now a fairly evenly matched. The only advantage we really have in this scenario is the fact that we still have an aircraft carrier. Sadly, we are about to lose our destroyer as well because if we can see, he's just chasing down the California and uh, that isn't going to do him any good as he gets wiped off the map. So ship number wise, we are now all caught up and tied. And I'd argue they probably have the advantage. Yes, we have an aircraft carrier. But um, if you look where our aircraft carrier is, he has decided to park literally in a docking space in the back of the map um, where their destroyer is definitely willing to push in and try to get uh, something done. As far as what their team should probably do right now is probably push towards B. Both of us are going to attempt to do that. For me, I'm going for this California just because he's the only one in range. And uh, this is one of the advantages to kind of getting clumped on one side of the map is your entire team can go ahead and try to pick off individual uh, ships. And you all can basically, by default, uh, have concentrated your fire on a single unit. When you concentrate your fire on a single unit, the, the lifespan on them is going to go down dramatically. Um, and hey, look, there's the North Carolina from before looking at himself all nice and healed back. Of course, fire damage is relatively easily healed. Um, so it's not surprising that he is somewhat fully healthed again, just because uh, he's been away for quite a minute. He most likely was able to get Will and then uh, put, put in one or two repair parties to get himself back together. Of course, with those two fires, he then uh, used his repair party. And if there's one thing that happens once you use your repair party, it's that we are going to fire HE at you even more to try to get the perma fires. Something that uh, our friend in the North Carolina is getting very familiar with from us because uh, we've hit him with it twice. He goes in and uh, he's firing his 16 inch guns and they can do quite the number on us as King George doesn't have the greatest armor in the game. Of course, like most tier six battleships, it only has 25 millimeter uh, front armor in the nose slash bow of the ship, which means those 16 inch shells will absolutely do a number to us. It does have decent side plating though, which is kind of why we do that kind of sideways crab. It has uh, like 235 to 260 millimeter armor in that torpedo belt, which definitely does assist in us doing damage. Of course, as we saw there, we got, uh, we have that fire burning on the North Carolina and we just got another one on the Normandy here. Other shells are out and we get a second fire on Normandy. Let's see if he goes ahead and uses his damage control party. And at this point, we're gonna start to try to use that thick side armor and try to get at an angle where it will start to ricochet. Of course, that did open us up to the California. California is at really low health. We're gonna see if we can go ahead, remove him from the game. Of course, if we can do that, we can remove one more source of DPS and ooh, and we just got hit, slapped hard by what I'm pretty sure was the North Carolina's uh, 16 inch guns, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, uh, Normandy's still burning down. He decided not to extinguish his two fires. I don't know if he had recently uh, put out any other fires and that's why he's letting them burn, but we will take this extra damage, of course, 
we are now up to 175,000 damage and that number is ticking up. Shots out and about to land on North Carolina. Set two more fires on him. Sadly, he immediately puts them out. Doesn't want to be burned out, but uh, he is also using his heal. As we can see, that damage slowly ticking up, but we still have a viable shot on him. We're going to blind fire at him. He's going to blind fire at us. He's already done significant damage to us. Takes another good 10,000 damage chunk out of us. We're going to go ahead, swing the nose of our ship around. We already let the tail sh uh, shots out. Uh, he is now severely, uh, severely, severely limited. His heal is about done. So if we can get these shells to land right here, we are going to be in good shape. Though he does leave us with a parting present putting our health in the red. We do also earn the arsonist medal on him. As uh, as you could probably see, we had him on fire for a good chunk of time. Normandy coming around the corner and he's gonna be our new primary target as uh, he's, he's gonna be the one who is most broadside to us and we are most easily able to go ahead and land shots on. Um, at some point here, I think soon, we're gonna go ahead and pop our repair party because we are starting to take a lot of damage and we can see we have some beautiful AP rounds coming in from him. He hits us hard where we go, oh, we may want to go ahead and start healing up, especially because we only have at this point a quarter or to a third of our health and that Normandy is at about a half health. So we are going to have to uh, dodge our way and play smart or in this case, just keep using HE to burn him down. Damage, we're up to 187. We set another fire on the Normandy, uh, and he's going to go ahead and let it burn for a minute, waiting most likely on those two fires. Of course, it is nice to know uh, players do tend to be fairly consistent with uh, letting one fire kind of stay on their battleships, though it... Did he... No, it's still, it's still taken away. We still have one more. Sadly, he goes behind that island, uh, and I think he goes ahead and pops his damage con uh, just because he's no longer in danger of us setting a second fire. No, he keeps it burning. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and keep our guns trained on him. As At this point in the match, the enemy team has taken B. We are up one ship. And uh, sadly, we do not have a shot on the Normandy. And the Normandy is the only one uh, who we can still go ahead and do damage to. We are, at this point, going to need to take out the Normandy if we want to win this match because uh, they do have those two control points and uh, they will overtake us on points if we are not careful. We go ahead, put our plane up because Normandy went ahead and disappeared right there on us. We go ahead, set two fires on him, uh, which is beautiful, bringing us up above the 200,000 mark and we are now at 19 fires. He goes ahead and extinguishes those fires. Sadly, he disappears right as we... Uh, right as we fire our guns and those and those shells sadly go straight into the island first shot out on the normandy we're gonna go ahead and start turning out trying to get our angle to go away from the normandy also make sure that he is uh not capping that see if we can con continue to do some consistent damage on him he is not going to do uh he's not going to be able to cap it though this also hurts us once again because when he is in this capture point he is preventing us from accruing those points so we really need to get this Normandy dead and out of there. Shots out on him again. We get another two fires, bringing us up to 21 fires for this match. If this was last campaign, we would have the heroic uh, effort for the fire, but we need to get to 23 fires now. So we need one, we need two more fires on the Normandy. Shots out on him. First, the front guns and then the rear gun. And we get one more fire, all three fires now on him. He doesn't look like he's going to be putting it out. Rear gun finishes him off, our second arsonist medal of the match. We now are up to 212,000 damage, bringing us over the 210,000 damage for the heroic effort. And we now need to find one more ship to shoot. We have 30 seconds remaining. We need to swing the guns forward and just get ready. Thankfully, our team is in the uh, capture points. Destroyer pops up, Akatsuki. We're gonna swing the guns as quick as we can because we only have less than 10 seconds remaining. Line up the shot and sadly, we let the shot go at seven seconds remaining and there's a 10 and a half second flight time on those shells, which means we are not gonna get the fire challenge. But 
once we click through, we realize we we are getting way more points than we should, and we do end the match with the XP challenge. So we knocked out two of the challenges there, which is a wonderful heroic effort and a great time. Guys, if you liked the video, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.